everybody welcome to a new rain vlog i'm sorry that i didn't vlog last week i worked like five days in a row and i was just exhausted so i decided not to vlog last week i only did a little bit of rain just because i've been trying to couldn't find a lot of time to read i either read one chapter of a book or just um do not read at all but luckily last night i finished i've read um Yesterday, I mean, I read Voyage of a Dawn Trier by C.S. Lewis, which is the fifth book of Chronicles of Narnia. And, of course, I enjoyed it as much as everything else and or every other book in the series. And I gave it five out of five stars. So, yeah, I want to give you guys some of the books I'm planning to read this week. The first book I, I'm currently reading right now is Ozland. And I'm only, like, 60 pages in it. So, I'm hoping to read like 100 pages today because I don't have to work until noon tomorrow so I thought I would just stay up a little to read. I want to hit the 100 page mark if possible and then I'm gonna start um, haunting on the haunting of the Hill House by Shirley Johnson. I have not read any horror books. I mean I've read ghost books but that's pretty much it. I'm gonna start on this I might read a chapter or something so that's my plan for today but the rest of the week I'm hoping to get to P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han which is the second book of um, To All the Boys I Loved Before <laughs> trilogy I don't know what the actual trilogy is I, I, I'm loving I, I just love the book so much I really want to read the sequel so bad before it comes out in February on Netflix and I'm excited about that so I want to read this, and then if I can, I want to start off with uh, read Norway, which is a graphic novel that I got from Unicorn Crate in April, and I just I just like having seen the animals on the cover. I just thought I would read this. Plus, it's very short. Maybe I'll read this today and then read Ozland later. I don't know yet. So that's my plan for this week: four books in one week. Probably not possible, but all I can do is try my best, and yeah, I just hope I don't get this month wouldn't be end up a reading slump month for me because like I just finished um, accomplished a readathon, which is the Hogwarts house battle. So I really don't want to struggle reading because of that. That's why I took a long break, which I didn't need, but it just it exhausts me a bit. But <laughs> But I'm just ready to get back into reading, even though I've worked a lot this um, past week. So, that's my plan, and yeah, I'm going to get to reading. I just finished Norway. I really like I I liked it and oh my gosh, it ended on a cliffhanger. What the heck? I really enjoyed it. I kind of like how the story is kind of like different. It has like a B and B's 
as kind of story a little bit, but at the same time it was like not that kind of story, but I did really enjoy it. I would give it, I don't know what I would get. I have, I, I, I just can't stop thinking about, about what just happened. I mean, I love the artwork and I love the story and I don't know when the second volume comes out because I'm like, I need volume two so badly. So right now I'm trying to figure out whether I should read Continuing Ozland or Go to Sleep because like, I'm still exhausted from working five days straight this um, past week, last week, so yeah, hopefully I could read more of Ozland, but I might wait until tomorrow, so good night, I guess. <laughs> hey everybody, happy Tuesday. I decided not to read after I have read Norway because I was, like, I needed some sleep before I go to work that I'm in my work clothes, so yeah, I am gonna be reading a little bit of Ozland or the Hind of the Hill House before I go to work because I go to work in a couple of hours so I might read a chapter of those two or one of them before I go to work and I might continue reading after work depending on how I feel so yeah just thought I'd give you guys an update plus I actually forgot to um, show you guys a book that I bought recently and the book that I bought recently is The Astonishing Color of After by Emily X. R. Pan. I've heard nothing but good things about it, and I know it's going to be an emotional book because it's about a girl whose mom committed suicide, and then she's meeting her family in Taiwan, and her mom turns into a bird, and that's all I really need to know. And I just love the book cover. It's so pretty, and I don't know when I'll ever get to this, but I know I want to read it sometime. But I've heard nothing but good things about it. So, yeah, that's the only book that I bought recently. I'm just proud of myself because I'm in a major book buying band. Not just because I need to catch up all the books that are on my TBR. It's also because I have to think about my student loans because I have student loans I need to pay back. So, yeah, I try buying less books. I don't know how long this will last, but most likely until, like, I have just wanted to read books that are on my TBR that I'm so behind on because I have, like, I would, I narrowed it down to under 200, but now it's probably back in 200 books on my TBR. So, yeah, I'm buying less books until I read at least half of my TBR just so I would know that I'm able to manage on the books that I'm able to read and the ones that I can like I can wait on to purchase so and plus I want to go to the library more because that's helps me figure out like if the book's good enough for me to buy for myself or just gonna be wasting my time and don't want to waste my money on on it, if that makes sense so yeah I'm gonna read and hopefully I'll read a chapter before I go to work so wish me luck hey everybody happy Thursday. Sorry that I didn't vlog yesterday. I was planning on vlogging yesterday, but then I did some video testing, and which was successful. Plus, I continue on with Ozland yesterday. I am all, more than halfway through it, so I have 100 pages left, so I'll hopefully finish it tonight. And then I started hunt, The Haunting of the Hill House. I'm only a couple of pages in, so I don't have much of an opinion about it. I mean, it's interesting so far, but I don't have a like full opinion about it, so... Yeah, and I'm hoping that at some point that I'll be finish finishing both. But for right now, I got to um, take a shower, um, add a video for tomorrow, and then I'll just add the other one later because it's a book review and I don't usually release that until later. So hopefully I'll finish Auslan tonight. That's my plan. And then read more of Not Hunting of a Hell House once I'm done with that. So... That's my plan for tomorrow, and yeah, tonight I have a lot of editing to do. Yeah, another thing that I forgot to tell you guys that I'm in the middle of an audiobook, which I'm really enjoying right now, which is The Bells by Danielle Clayton, and let me see how far I am. I'm only like two hours in, so I, I think I'm seven, I've read seven chapters or something. I don't know what 
page that is on so yeah I don't have it with me so I wouldn't determine on how long that I have um, read for so yeah right now I'm uploading my video and I'm determining whether I should go up bad or just read a little bit and then go up bad I am debating right now because I'm like <laughs> tired from work and the rain is today that I did not expect at all just made me more tired than I am I don't know why the weather oh like the rain always makes me tired but maybe I'll just read a chapter and then go up bed I don't know we'll see I'm not even kidding when I said that the weather is making me tired it's like 9 30 right now and my video is like finishing converting right now I hope it will actually upload into YouTube so I can schedule it for tomorrow and it, this video is probably up by the time this vlog goes up so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed it a lot good morning everybody happy Friday it's like nine o'clock right now I didn't get a lot of reading done last night I was just a bit sleepy so I've read a couple chapters of Ozland which is a good thing to get some reading done but I do want to finish it today just because because I have like 100 pages left of a book. I know it's like 278 pages, I believe. So, yeah, it's pretty short. It's pretty short, so, yeah. Um, and then I'm going to continue on reading the, the Haunting of the Hill House. Because I do want to read um, Hocus Pocus soon. But I don't know, I don't think I'll listen to it on audiobook. I know there's an audiobook of it, but I think reading it physically would beneficial me more because I've seen the movie but I do want to read the novelization of the first part and then the read the sequel if that makes any sense so I'm hoping that after I'm done reading the Hind of the Hill House I don't know what I'm trying to say right now because I literally like woke up an hour ago so yeah I'm gonna get some breakfast post my latest video on social media and then yeah I'm gonna get some rain done I'm not sure if you guys can hear it it's pretty rain right now and that literally woke me up this morning and it's bugging me I know rainy days is perfect for reading but at the same time I don't like heavy rain when it's like you can actually hear it and it bugs me but I don't know what I'm trying to say right now I should get to rain right now hey everybody it's much later I got I got a package! Yay! Oh gosh, my room is a mess right now, so I was trying not to do anything, but I got, I, my package finally came. I'm going to show you the book that I bought to get the free shipping, because I bought a Christmas um, gift, because my family and I always cri go Christmas shopping before Black Friday, so yeah, um, we, there's a Christmas gift in there, which I'm not going to show, and I'll be showing you a book that I got. And the book that I got is Stepsister by Jennifer Donnelly. I've been wanting to read this since it came out. And I've, heard, I've honestly been want, wanting to read this since, like, a fairy tale thon And I didn't have it in my hand at the time. But now I have another fairy tale retelling um, book to add to my TBR. So, yeah, I'm sorry for having a lot of vlog clips today. But, like, for today, Friday. But... I I'm actually been mostly been um trying to pre-film a bunch of videos today. I haven't done a lot of reading, so that's why I haven't given you guys a reading update. But I've listened to a, a little bit of my audiobook while I was like setting up for filming and everything, which is good. But I know I need to work on my reading as well, just because I want to finish Auslan. I know I gotta get that done and then start on continuing on the hunting of the ha hill house i almost said house hill <laughs> oh my gosh what is up with me hopefully i'll get everything done that i need to get done hey everybody happy friday well i put it way too close uh happy f no yesterday was friday happy saturday just want to let you guys know that i finished Ozland. i i liked it but i do have a few issues with that so I was like I don't know I I'm gonna write down my um, review on 
good reads and I'll be doing a book review on Auslan very soon so stay tuned for that and now I'm gonna be continuing reading The Haunting of the Hill House I'm probably most likely gonna do that um, after work just because like it's a mor morning right now. I don't have a lot of time to read before I go off to work. But after work, I will continue on with The Haunting of the Hill House. So, also I may continue on with The Bell since I'm currently listening to it on audiobook and I'm really enjoying it. And yeah, just want to give you guys a rain update before I head to work. So, now I'm going to head to work and then after work, I'm going to get some reading done. Hello everybody. Happy Sunday. Last night, I didn't I only read a couple of pages of The Haunting of the Hill House. It was because I was tired from work and plus um, Kim and I saw the Adams Family play last night. We didn't see the movie, but um, it was good, but I just, it's not my cup of tea. <laughs> I know maybe you guys probably will probably love the Adams Family as much as Kevin does, but it's just okay. It's just, I still not understanding like the characters even though Kevin keep pointing out how we're like Gomez and Morticia but oh gosh I'm I just still like it's not still not my cup of tea but la like later today I'm gonna be going to Pumpkin Patch with my family so I'll be vlogging a little bit of that so that's gonna be my plan the rest of the day and then I'll give you guys a wrap up at the end of the day most likely but I will be reading more of The Hunting of the Hill House. I'll probably will be reading in a car even though it's like a probably a half an hour drive from here. So yeah and I'll catch you guys later. So I now the pumpkin patch was fun. You probably see that that I was having fun with my family even though my family wasn't um, I cut out my family because I'm pretty sure they don't want to be featured in my vlogs right now just because like they don't want to um, like they want to be a private right now so if they were I would let you guys know but right now they just want to be private but we all had fun and Kevin couldn't go because he had to go to work right Kev? Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna end this vlog right here I'm gonna let you guys know um, the um, that I've read three books this week, which was awesome, and at the same time, it was like a good, um, good reading week. Um, and I, the first book that I finished was um, *The Voyage of a Dawn Treader*, which I give five out of five stars. Uh, I don't have a copy with me because I forgot to grab it. <laughs> and then I've read *Norway*, and I, and I love it. And I, it took me like a day, <laughs> so I give this five out of five stars. And then I've read uh, Oz Land by Wendy Spinelli, and I I gave it four or five stars, but I feel like it's more of a three at this point. But but overall, I still love this series, and I'm still my, wait, making my way through on the Hunting of the Hill House. Hopefully, I'll finish it like in a day or two. And I'm still working on my audio book, The Bells, and I'm slowly making my, my way through that. So yeah, that's it for the. Green vlog and now I mean, if you want um if you want love us or like this green vlog give us a thumbs up and comment down below um what's your favorite fall activity other than reading or some fall books that you're reading um right now and um if you want to follow me on social media I have Facebook under Last Reader I have Twitter and Instagram on Last Reader 19 I also have Goodreads which I'll link down below don't forget to hit subscribe if you don't want to miss any bookish content for me thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye